In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do motion capture from AI. And the best part that is run on your computers. Plan Rockery, no need for subscription shit, yeah? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to turn a video into the 3D motion capture animation. The first step that you need to do is you need to download add-on called um, Save for the Humans which is developed by Carlos Barreto. I will put the link below so you can get his add-on from his Patreon. So after you download and install it, the process is really simple. You just select the video. I use the video for Motion Actor Inc. It's the YouTube channel that contains a lot of good reference for your animation. I will put the link below also. Then after that, you press in on this button, execute for the human. And now, in the console, you, um, not this one. In the console, it will start to run the add-on. Telling the frame, this is like, 192 and in this tab that the little guy is running right here we tell you the processing time of your videos this will depend on your PC spec so this thing is run locally in your computers no crowd no subscription shit so this is I think this is a, a great advantage and the result is kinda good too. Now you just wait this to be done. For me it took like two minutes. Which is really fast by the way. So after this thing after this process is done, I will teach you how to retarget from this bone to your own character bone so you can use the animation that you just extract from the video in your character too. I will speeding up the clip so after the process is done it will tell you the there is two characters in the scene you need to click on the import then the first character is come here come in your scene then you change to the next characters Pressing import. Now the next character in your scene too. Now let's see the magic begin. Bam. Two minutes. Just only two minutes for this guys. So the next step that I'm going to teach you is how to transfer animation from this to your own characters using the Mixamo bone. As you can see the bones of from this add-on is kind of weird but don't worry I will transfer from that bone to this bone, Mixamo bone. This is my own character so and I use the Mixamo website to rig and animate it. Next step is copy the whole thing. Go to the motion capture scene, pressing Ctrl V to paste your character in your scene. And then after that. So the next step that you need to do is you make to you need to make this bone have the same response as this bone. As you can see they are in the same T pose but similar pose but not the same. So you need to fix it by go to your character bones 
go to Postmos, then you go to Post Position. You don't need this animation, so we can press X, delete the keyframe, press F T. Then you search for Korea. Then go to Create All Time Form. Now Post Position and Rest Board it is same post now. And the next thing that you need to do is post from this post to look like this post. The way to do that is you select on the bone, go to one, go to front wheel, and you're pressing R on your keyboard to rotate the bone. You can also talk over the Miller option right here, but it's not work for me, I don't know why. And then you go top view and also adjust the bone into the same pose. A little bit closer. Now in this post position and race position still not the same but before before that you need to click on your character mesh then you apply then you're pressing out P on your keyboard clear and keep transformation now the character is disconnected from the bone but it still contain the vertex group weight data then you go back to the bone you go to post mode pressing A to select all the bone pressing FT on your keyboard searching for apply pros to rest port apply pros at let's pros now post position and let's pull it the same Okay, I think it's good. The way that you reconnect the character to the bone is by select your characters, pressing shift on your keyboard, select the bone, press control P on your keyboard, then with M3 goof. Now your characters um, is connect to the bone again. The next step is the retargeting step. You pressing it on your keyboard, searching for Rococo anime, Rococo add-on panel right here. I will put the link below also. Go to the retargeting section, and you select the source. Is the motion capture bone, and the target is your own character bone. Pressing view ball list. By the way, you need to like change this one by one or five and fix this. But I solved the problem for you by I already do I already do it. The retarget JSON file is just import this one. And then you click on the retarget the animation. Now you pressing out your keyboard, press X, minus 1, A, 0, to rotate, to fix um, this queer rotation stop, by rotating it in the X axis in minus 180 degree. Now your character is alive. That's really good. It's really good, by the way. As you can see, it's not perfect. It still needs some of cleanup process, but yeah, the result is really good, and it's run recording on your computer, so you don't need to like 
pay the credit for every month. I'm really happy with this. And if you're happy with this too, you need to subscribe and like this video so I can produce more of, of this stuff. And my channel is kind of small, you know. I want it to grow bigger so I can do this like more frequently. And I'm not American or English, so English is not my native language. If I say something weird or wrong, sorry for that. Goodbye and and have a good day, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, please, please. Goodbye. Happy.